we're trying something new today completely brand new this is this is not something we've really done on stream i've done this off of stream for for some friends and uh fellow streamers but today we're gonna do it live on stream is a stream review and what that is is we're going to do a deep dive on a channel here on in this case here on twitch we got two of them today for tw for twitch um this is also open to youtube uh, Facebook gaming channels, whatever you might be producing your content on, primarily something that's a live streaming platform, and I will break it down and provide some feedback. So uh, that's what we're going to do today. I cannot believe it. I could not. I'm sorry. I'm so floored by that. After all the prep, after all the prep, after all the prep. cool okay so we've got two today the format is basically uh we'll we'll work through one then we'll work through the other but within each review we'll start yeah halkins our guinea pig and loves it what we're going to do is we're going to look at the channel we're going to look at uh, a couple things we're going to do uh the actual page itself we're going to look at the panels offline image as well as uh, the content of those panels be it both the images and the text uh, that includes the profile picture things like that we'll do a complete breakdown of that and 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 take a look and then we'll dive into a vod and then uh, kind of scrub through the VOD and find different things to look at as well as answer any questions as they come up. So we're going to get started really quick. Today we're doing Halkin and Squidgeneer, which are two friends of mine. So uh, we're going to we're going to do that and we're going to we're going to get started. So let us pull up Halkin. Guys, I'm going to link it in the chat. Twitch.tv slash Halkin. If you'd like to take a look as well, I have his page up on my screen already. All right, cool. So, as you can see here, uh, this is your, your standard Twitch format. Actually, I'm kind of curious. I'm kind of curious. Cool. Cool. Do you have a channel trailer? I love that guy. He's like my favorite streamer. So no trailer, which you'll want to consider doing. Um, actually, I'm in the middle of redoing mine. I actually had one up and I just recently pulled it so I can uh, re-edit it uh, and update it with new highlights and things like that. So what you'll want to do is uh, do a quick trailer. Nothing too long. Uh, Twitch themselves recommends about a minute, but what that does is it actually plays for people who pull up this page when you're offline. So really simple thing. Um, it doesn't have to be too fancy. I know I know a lot of people think they want they need the editing help uh, for it, but certainly feel free. Like even if it's just you talking at a camp at the camera, saying hey, welcome to my stream. My name is Halkin. This is my content. This is uh, the thing, the sort of things that I, you know, do and you can expect on the channel. And here's when I'm live. You want something cool? Not sure what you want. Yet. OK, well, definitely before you do something cool, at least get something in there. And so, um, you know, that said, that's a good place to start. And with that, I'm going to pull up these notes on how can stream just so we can get a better idea of uh, what we're in for. And actually, I, you know, I pulled this up looking for a trailer so we could kind of get some context, but that's also why I have I had some questions that I asked Halkin before before uh, hand. And so we'll just buzz through them really quick. Uh, the first question was, how long have you been streaming? Uh, Halkin's been streaming for a little over five months. So that's pretty awesome given that it's been about five months and he's got an established community which we'll jump into here in a little bit uh i asked do you please describe your channel and the kind of content you produce as well as your schedule so halkin says my channel is mellow growing and morphing as we go we have a great community 
and we spend most of our time playing games and I share life stories and interesting content I run across as we go. Very cool. What would you like to get out of the review? Well, first, make new friends and build relationships. I love that part. I need more practice at this. This is me reading Halkin here. <laughs> Second, a source of more information I can use to make better content for my community. Great. What particular thing do you want looked at or questions do you have? Uh, so Halkin says, I'm open to whatever you think would be good for your content. I'm a pretty open person in general. So that's where we are. And if you don't mind, I'm going to I'm going to jump in and I'm going to take notes live. So you see the little notes screen. So I'm going to say uh, no. No trailer. Uh, put together a 60 second trailer. And then I'm going to say, you know, even even if it's something simple to start. So you did say you wanted some something cool i mean we all we all totally want something cool so uh but what's really important is that we get it there and i i admit my trailer like i said i just pulled it down so i can edit edit it because a lot of the stuff in there is out of date now so uh i i totally totally agree with you on that okay so let's take a quick dive on the page itself so uh, what I'm seeing here, this is the banner that you set on your page up on the top. Yeah, these notes are for you, man. These notes are for you, because what's going to happen is I'm going to email you this or send this to you on Discord when it's done. This makes it really easy for both of us. It helps me remember what I said, and it helps you have something to reference later. <laughs> so, uh, banner. Um, one thing some people do is keep the banner pretty clean, knowing that it scales. Now, let me let me caveat this with this thing gets stretched in different ways based on the browser. So it's really hard to predict how this would look on someone else's screen. Um, and it's also really hard because it has this video carousel that's laid on top of the banner. So what I usually recommend for people is to have a very simple banner where you align the logo on the left or the right and then kind of picture having only so much space on actually the margins, Predi like predicting the fact that there's going to be a uh, video overlaid on the center. So uh, I highly recommend that. It's a little hard to read because like when you look here, I don't, I can't really read what's going on with this banner. And again, part of that's Twitch's fault because of how they uh, display these images. But, you know, you can try and work around it. So banner image, uh, align logo and other information on the left or right margins. All right, cool. Let us keep going. So we're scrolling down a bit. And if you're unfamiliar with Twitch's pages, especially in offline mode, when the streamer's not live, uh, it usually will feature some different things on this page. Usually something like recent broadcasts. So one thing that's really nice to see, and I mean, we already know this, um, but you have all your recent broadcasts. So that's good. Uh, some people don't, don't actually, uh, especially when they're starting out, don't know uh, to turn on VODs. But it looks like you have VODs on, so that's excellent. Um, let's see. Recently streamed category. So this is something we didn't touch on in the intro, but Halkin's been playing Seven Days to Die, and and it looks like the Elder Scrolls. And I do know he, he used to play some Minecraft on stream. It seems like it's been a while. So... Uh, that would fall off here. So we're definitely looking at 
focused content. We're looking at focused a couple categories, which if you're brand if you're brand new, highly recommend that. I highly recommend focusing on a couple different categories. Um, it doesn't have to be one, but I would say if you're streaming a different game like every day and you're streaming like four to five days out of the week, uh, that might be hard and that lack of consistency will make it difficult to grow. So seven days to die. Elder Scrolls, which is like on every platform imaginable. <laughs> Do you think they'll make Elder Scrolls 5? Like, like we'll see like a Skyrim on PS5 uh, and Xbox One. Well, no, Xbox Series X. We can only hope. I want it on my Nokia N-Gage. I want it on my Nokia N-Gage. All right. How can suggest these streamers? This is cool. If you want to support fellow streamers as one yourself, you can add a lit to this list in your settings. And it's always nice to uh, have have it populated with people that you that you like. This kind of helps. Um, this helps in a few ways. It helps. Um, Kind of show your audience like your taste of other content creators as well as um this uh shows you know like hey these are people that i as a streamer endorse that list morphs from time to time is that good yeah there's no there's i would say there's no real reason no real reason to keep it static Now, how how you populate this list is totally dependent on what you're trying to do. Um, I kind of use a similar feeling when it comes to actual auto hosting or hosting. Um, I personally try to surface people that most people aren't watching because that's just how I am. Um, I want to kind of get my friends and peers on this list. Uh, but you know, other people may just say, Hey, here's a list of my favorite streamers. Right. And that could be like a combination of any size streamer. So that's good. All right, let's go to the about portion. So this is actually a little, like not everyone looks at pages like closely while a stream is offline. Am I able to, uh, increase the size of my notes i actually here's what i can do well first let me add a couple things let me add a couple things so um let me add a subheading panels let me catch up on notes really quick and then i'll see what i can do about if not that's okay because you're gonna get these notes if you guys want i can post these notes for everyone what do you guys think would you like that if I posted these notes for everyone? Kind of like a show notes sort of thing. Let's see. Panels. Doodly do what I say. Okay. It's going to say content categories look good. Focused on a few different categories. And then I'm going to say uh, friends list or not friends list, suggested streamer list. Looks good. Populated. I typed populated, populated. All right, cool. Would you guys find it helpful if I actually posted these notes for everyone? I would do that with uh, the permission of the, the folks involved, I guess. Um, let me see. Could I make this bigger? I know it's kind of hard to read unless you're watching this in full screen. Um, what I could do, hmm. I mean, I could zoom on. Let me see. I will get back to you on that. I can't do that right now. I don't want to spend too much time fussing with, with the uh, the visual display of the notes. But thank you for that, Corbob. 
I will, uh... I will definitely see about making that bigger, so you guys can maybe read it line by line. But what I'll do is, if Halkin's cool with it, I'll post these notes later. Okay. Heading... to... Panels. Okay. So... Let's look at the about. So... Profile image looks awesome. It's your face, and that's good. Uh, what I would consider... There are a few there are a few schools of thought here there's actually i've seen two schools of thought here people will say either just do your face so it's there and people can associate your face with with the the channel name other people will say put your logo here so it looks unified in terms of your logo i i'm i'm cool either way i personally i personally do my logo most of the time other times I have put my face there, so I think that's perfectly fine, so that's excellent. Um, profile pick is a face or picture. Selfie is a self, self picture. Uh, that or logo works great here. Let's read out your about panel really quick. My name is John. I'm so glad you dropped by to check out our community. Welcome. Join me for fun and laughs and help build this community playing games and sharing life stories. If you like what you see, I'd appreciate your follow. If you want to know more about me, just ask. I'm easy to talk to. Smiley face. So that's excellent. I think that's a reasonable, um, that's a reasonable thing to put there. Uh, let's see. What I would say about this is little bit more about the kind of content you create so something like hi my name is John I'm glad you dropped by our community welcome and then something like I play a lot of seven days to die and uh, Skyrim and we have a good time while we you know laugh at my my stories or something like that right give them a little something to expect for your content and for your channel and the community that you want to build. So that I would recommend right there. So let's see. Discuss your content in your about. A brief description of what you do. So like whatever it is, you know, that that you're like, hi, this is my channel. This is what you can expect. Um, it, it's really nice. Also, keep it pretty brief. I think you did a, a pretty good job at keeping it brief. One thing you're going to learn really quickly, and that's going to be the, the theme of these panels for a lot of people, is people don't like like to read a lot. So short, succinct, keeping it simple is always good. Always good here. A TLDR, yeah. Like uh, honestly, if you need a TLDR, if the I think if your about is not a TLDR, then uh, people won't read it. Um, generally, like if it needs if it needs a TLDR, like the the actual content in this about box should be a TLDR. Like, hey, you don't know who you don't know who Halkin is. Here's here's the summary. Boom. Right? And I'm gonna I'm gonna write that here. If you need a TDLR, then then they they likely won't read it. <laughs> and it's true, and I'm just gonna speak from personal experience. Uh in two ways. I write a lot of documentation for my job which is meant for people to use to reference or get information about our project as part of my designs. And people people honestly don't read it half the time. Or they only read it for the information they're looking for in the moment, which is how you kind of have to think about this page as people, people, will, people don't often look at these sections of a channel necessarily to read everything in it. 
it's usually because they're looking for some inf particular information, whether it is the really quick bit about your, your channel or whether it's about your list of commands or whatever it might be. All right. And I'm going to even type that here. People, people look at the lower half of your page when trying to find information. So keep it short, keep it simple, and have it really discuss the things that are important to you here. Let's look at links. I'm going to click these links and see if they go to where they say they'll go. Cool. So, Halkin has his Twitter. I'm totally not logged into Twitter. So here's here's one thing I would I would say. The good thing is your brand is consistencing consistent across consistent across both your Twitter page and your Twitch page, which is excellent. Now we won't touch too much on this part, but on social media, I'm just gonna do a quick like scroll. So one thing that I see, if you're in chat and you see this, um, let me know if you if you have thoughts. If you just, I'm just scrolling. I'm just scrolling. Let me know if you have thoughts on this. Anyone? Does anyone have thoughts on this? What I would say is the vast majority of your posts are the same post even. A few points, they're the same post most of the time, which is you're going live, which there's nothing wrong with. They The other thing is they all say, most of the time they say the same thing. It's cool to see some of these other, other things every so often. Now, I know social media is probably not a priority for you, and that's okay. But if you want people to follow your Twitter account, they will follow it because usually they want to know more about you as a content creator. Let's well, see, this is good. But when a page is mostly going live, then most people will say pass and they won't follow this. They won't follow this page. And then one thing I'm going to touch briefly on, I see you're using a lot of hashtags in your, in your, um, your going live tweets. And what I would recommend a lot of people, especially nowadays, um, hashtags used to be more prevalent on Twitter, but now it's, it's far less so. And what I would recommend, hashtags should be for very important things or things that you think should get really, really, like, should be emphasized, right? Now, Instagram, Instagram, their algorithm loves hashtags. Twitter's uh, doesn't seem to care as much. And actually, a lot of people who browse Twitter don't really, don't really care for them. And I'll be honest with you, small hashtag, small streamers connect, Hashtag streamers connected, hashtag promote streamers, hashtag gamer growth, hashtag twitch sharing, hashtag SGHRTs, hashtag retweet twitch, uh, hashtag twitch share, hashtag, hashtag twitch RT, hashtag share stream. Uh, people will not be searching these hashtags. The only people that usually click on these hashtags to find more streamers are um, usually associated with accounts that try to run these things to boost their own numbers. These don't provide any kind of growth for you. And most people probably won't follow because of all these hashtags or they'll probably scroll right past this. They'll scroll right past this. Um, that's my thought on it. I mean, like on average, you know, if these were working, you'd be getting a lot more retweets. And I'm seeing consistently one, maybe one. 
what I recommend is if you're going to use Twitter to promote your channel as a tweet, it's okay to link your channel, but then have something interesting in the tweet, whether it's one of your jokes, whether it's a funny GIF or an image, and then the link. However, um, I'm getting away from tweeting regularly when I'm live. I'm only, I generally tweet now when it's something special. When it's something like, hey, this is an event coming up, or this is a stream that I really would love people to see. That's where I would, would do that. So let me note that really quick. Social media, avoid excessive hashtags. Try to tweet other content in between going live. And that's only if, you know, that's only if you want to, to grow your Twitter following as well, right? You have to, I would recommend looking at what you want Twitter to accomplish for you, you know? So there's that. And I could do a whole thing on on Twitter. Let's take a quick look at your panels. So, first thing I immediately would say is we now have this really cool about panel and a lot of people still double up on that and have an about section. I would consider if you're going to keep your about here, knowing that this exists right here, I would probably do something different which is good. You have something different here. And this is actually some of the stuff I was looking for earlier. This is some of the stuff I was looking for earlier. I love games. Hobbies include role-playing games, Warhammer, PC games, tabletop games, fast cars, PCs, and a smattering of other things. This is cool because you get, a little, get to know a little bit more about Halkin. What I would do, this is actually find the way it is. What I would do is I would move this all the way to the left and make this your first thing move it to the left you want people people like to scan right and usually the first thing you want to see is the about first thing you want to see is the about move about me to the first slot uh really quick good you have a schedule you have a schedule uh extension so we know when that is so that's excellent and there's a lot of other cool things in here, which is good. The thing I want to say about panels is just make sure that people, these are things people will care about and will want to see, right? They'll want to see. So just make sure everything has a place on here. Uh, things that should link should have, okay, I see, I see that, that's cool. Really good. One thing I would say, the contrast between the blue and the red is awfully high. The blue and the, the contrast between the two are awfully high. And I would consider coming up with a uniform font size on each of these so they read more consistently. So let's see, panel contrast is high. I would, I would basically pick soft a softer blue and red they kind of fight each other too when you're looking at it contrast is high uh links work what else what else did i say consistent font size yeah cool all right let's let's burn through the rest of this so we could get to the content schedule schedule Minecraft. So I see on your schedule you still have Minecraft. Does it, this does not, the times look correct. I believe these are correct. I know you already have the extension here in the about panel. But what I would do is I would update the schedule too or leave it blank. You can leave it blank and rely on the extension if that's what you would like to do. As long as there's something somewhere. Dude, don't worry about it. 
don't worry about it. This is totally to help. This isn't to make you all feel bad. Social media. Let's move this up here under panels. All right, cool. Schedule widget is great in panels. Schedule section is not up to date. So what I recommend is that you either maintain this as well, because this is nice to tell people what you're st actually streaming. But if you're going to do it, make sure you're maintaining it. Good. Videos. Cool. So we have recent broadcasts, recent highlights and uploads, popular clips, starters. Okay. Starters. So is this like a tutorial? This looks like a tutorial vid. This doesn't have a title. It has uh, what looks like a file name. Wow, Husky, Husky Potato, look at this. Your clipper. Husky Potato is a great clipper. Okay. So one thing you can do here is you can format this screen and set it up the way you want. You can actually say, you know, you could actually order these categories whatever way you want. Recent broadcast is always a strong thing to open with at the top. I like to leave that one at the top. Some people don't do that. Some people... If they have, if you have really good highlights and clips, then that could be the first thing. But just know that you can change this. So, and I was gonna say a word on clips. You have people clipping, which is good. This is excellent. You have people clipping. If you don't have anything under your clip section as a streamer, um, I recommend either you go through your VODs and you clip, or you have a supportive community who will totally do that for you. <laughs> Corbob. He's an elaborate bot that goes around clipping. All right. Let's see. And this is how it looks. One one note on panels, you cannot predict the layout, right? All you can predict is the order of the panels because based on the resolution and the size of the window of a viewer, it scales. So know that when you set up your panels it could be in any weird order be based on someone's resolution and window size cool cool that is the page section so that took me almost 30 minutes but that is the page that is the page section any any questions on this part any questions on this part how can any thoughts i'm gonna say remember that panels scale based on screen size and resolution. You cannot predict how it will look, but you can predict the order of the panels. Cool. Excellent. I was going to click on this, this YouTube link too. That's what I meant to do. Falcons gaming and stuff. Cool. Looks like we got some other content too. A word on other content. Make sure that you're making content for multiple platforms. Even if it's like very basic highlight videos or things like that. So that's good. Cool. Let's dive into a VOD, yeah? Mostly old stuff. Okay, that's fine. Should we dive into a VOD? Let me, um, let's see, let me dive into a VOD. So we're going to start, we're going to, we're going to take a look at the VODs. I'm going to, I'm going to take this time. I'm going to turn my music off so we can listen to, uh, what's going on. So we're going to scrub through this video. We're not, obviously we're not going to watch the whole thing. So. All right, I recognize this because I've been in your stream. So let's let's type some notes. VOD review. So the good things you've got music and you've got starting 
Bethune. Now, what I'm going to say here is something that um, I, I would imagine not everyone feels the same way about, but I have my own perspective on this. And so starting soon screens should, if you have one, not last more than two to three minutes. And honestly, I would even target less if you can. So I'm going to fast forward to like three minutes. Okay. I'm going to fast forward to five minutes. Okay, good. So you're on before five minutes. Good. Awesome. Excellent. I like that. Uh, I do like that. That's good. So keep your starting soon screen super short because you will lose people that decide to show up at the beginning of your stream. You will lose people. So uh, keep them short. And I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't do anything that lasts longer than three minutes. I'd say three minutes. Ideally, two minutes is good. Two minutes is good. Let's do a brief look at the composition of your starting screen. I'm going to move this back so I have time to look at it. So we have what looks like uh, a Minecraft image, your logo, your picture, your face, and a starting soon. What resolution is this in? 720? 1080. Okay. So I was going to look at... You stream in 1080? Not bad. I highly recommend... I know some people want to do 1080. Because you're an affiliate... It says 1080, right? Your source was 1080p. Yeah, I would. I always recommend affiliates consider streaming at 720p. Only because you may not always have transcoding options. And if you're streaming at 1080p, some viewers may not be able to watch you due to their poor connections. Just, just food for thought. Just food for thought. All right, so let's look at this this composition. We have latest follower, latest subscriber. We have a follow goal and a sub goal, which are good. Um, I do feel like looking at this panel or this starting soon screen, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. What I would consider before I make my next recommendation is to maybe consider cleaning this up. Um, as a viewer, I wonder about the significance of the picture in the upper left corner. Um, I like the logo, but what I would do is I would make this black backing on it transparent. And I would tuck that in a corner higher and slightly smaller, slightly smaller. Um, what else? Your picture is good too. I just, I don't feel like there's a cohesive thing here. I feel like we got a lot of things going on and really what matters on a starting soon screen are a couple things. Saying starting soon and a timer of some kind to say when you're, when you're gonna be on. Everything else is optional and honestly, I wouldn't stack too much else on this screen. Maybe social media if that is something you're trying to promote. So, starting soon screen, uh, many images, uh, there's a lot, there's a lot going on, there's a lot going on, I would simplify it, simplify it, example, again, logo, make back, background, the black background transparent. I think that would just look nicer. So it doesn't look like it's just free. Like the way it looks free floating with a black box around, it just doesn't look very great. Consider a timer. A very simple timer, like a two minute timer. Timer. Keep it under three minutes. Try for two. All right, cool. Cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. 
Hawkins, uh, this is a uh, Hawkins gaming scene, job. it looks like. Um, so guess who got a bike yesterday? Who got a bike? Right as we logged out. So I went to a, the last trader and he had a bike frame. So I All went right. ahead and I bought it and I built a bike. The one thing, a bike on the ground yet. one thing I would say um, by looking at your, your setup here, I'm actually going to turn down the sound and leave it playing. Your overlay elements, these are great. This is all good information. I see the follower goal, the sub goal. I see what looks like a sub, yeah, sub count. Is that a sub count? I see a, I see a tip jar. I see a stream readers element. So of the things that are more graphical, I don't see a lot of consistency. I see in your top donor last follow in the left. It's okay if they're scattered. That's fine. We can talk about placement shortly. But in the upper left corner, what looks like it looks like a widget from, I think, the glitch. Is it glitch pack? I'm familiar with some of these packs. That's cool, but it looks inconsistent. It's a freebie. It looks inconsistent with the stream. I think I imagine that's Streamlabs goal graphics is what it looks like. What I would do if you have, since it's a freebie, I would try to at least at the very least make the colors look the same. And or the fonts so they look consistent. I would also, where you have your death count, I would do something so it kind of sits a little bit more on top of the, like, with the rest of the overlay in a way that makes it more readable. You can either put a border around the font letters, like a black border, one to two pixels wide, which will make it stand up on top of this. I would tuck it up a little more, too. You have a new overlay coming? Yeah, that's that's right. I recall you talking about the overlay. So what I do like, what I do like about this, nice transition. What I do like is that it's simple. That there's not a lot going on. I mean, there's there's a bunch of stuff, but like... It looks, it looks like you're trying to keep this space safe. So that's good. I would consider, and this sometimes takes more work and depending on what you're looking at, um, I'm noticing a lot of people moving their cameras up to like left or right center. Though if you were to do that with your green screen and the way it's set up, I would put a little, uh, little graphical line at the bottom to kind of make it look like it's popped out. Not a full frame. I wouldn't put a full frame, but I'd put like a graphical line at the bottom. If you were to move your guy up, that means because then that helps that helps people look at Halkin, right? Which is just as important as the game, if not more, in my opinion. So let's see. It's gonna be a difficult battle to so we got stream readers. Okay, good. And uh, switch back. You know, Netflix. I'm just going to scrub through like a series, like all of them at once. That's dangerous for me. Oh, dude's like, uh, give me some cake. Mastani, good There's morning. Hello. I was going to repair my bow. Yeah. So they replace, they replace, replace all of them at once. Oh, I want to do this. Let's keep scrubbing. This uh, cloudy dude. Welcome. Cloudy X quiz. So yes. you're calling people out in your chat when they say hello. Are that's good. good. Yeah. Your engagement. I'm tired, I'm tired. Your engagement's there. That's I'm awesome. I took a test today. Yeah, I took a test today for a job. I took it. It started. I started it yesterday, and then just kind of took off with it this morning. All right. You thought you followed. I hope me that right. test went all right, Halkin. Intel screwed up something really bad. Because once right. uh, I'm like part of a 
once I've like uh, decided to like I support this company, I do that unless there's a real reason to change. Oh, you got so good if news? Close, um, I'll be okay. Dude, awesome. Um, like necessarily spending more. What money. happened? That's all. Let me look at your chat yeah, too. That's all right. It'll be fun. It'll be a fun death. So I can totally like put this like right. Hey, you got chat. People are people are chatting, which is always good. You can't control that part other than, you know, trying to engage the chatters that are there. It's like Minecraft, right? Oh, uh, we need more meat. meat. This is good. Uh, really quick email in bed and let you know about our next steps. There you go. Congratulations, man. That's good. Uh, let's go back to here. Oh, actually, I just noticed this. So really quick. Uh, engaged. Engage with chat. Welcomes new chatters, which is good. I'm not noticing any dead air, which is awesome. No dead air. That's really... Congratulations, Halkin. No dead air. That's awesome. Let me listen to levels here. Okay. I'm just going to sit here and watch this while we're waiting for our other thing to finish. And they should all finish, like, a minute apart or so. Oh, it totally psyched me out. Oh, is that my garden? Is oh, I don't have an uptime, Mistani, huh? mainly because it's on the page. I removed that once ah. they started adding the timer right. to the Twitch page. So we're going to do like, what are we going to do? I got carrots, right? I got carrot seeds. So yeah. your sound levels sound good. Totally got the carrot seeds. We're going to do like carrots there. Let's sound go. levels are great. Come, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. We got. I can hear peppers. you over the peppers. game. What? We're going to do like. Uh, da -da. Peppers. Peppers. I was trying to find an alert, nice. but I couldn't find an alert. Too. He had classes in we video production. Melons. That's excellent. Your mic sounds good. Every time we pick something, we get three. We get three. Your mic sounds great. Okay, well, we're turning in a mission here. That's why we're here. The free to play event. I might try it out. Yeah. I don't think I need to do this. I really don't think I need to do this. It doesn't show on mobile. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Well, we've been live for almost an hour. Up here. And you can feel free to check out the VOD when okay, this is all over if you want to catch bars, the beginning. Right. Uh, we want the bars. And we want to make like... That's like... Eight. We're going to jump eight. ahead. I'm trying to find alerts. Uh, I'm not sure I'm high enough level, though. Maybe I am. The back. I didn't change orientation. One core. Let's see how that works out. That'll be cool. Oh, I'm out of coffee. Uh oh, there. Um, I would have bought that had we not already had one. Okay. Uh. Uh, cannot run birds. <laughs> yeah, I learned that. Okay, so one note I have. And we have ten spam that we. Picked. I have one idea. I have one thing here. So, I, out of curiosity, this isn't this isn't necessary, but have you considered having a bot that has a separate name as you? Have you considered? Because I see all the bot related stuff is coming from your account. This isn't necessary, but it does make chat a little cleaner. Is having a separate bot account? Have you considered having a bot like? Uh, you can name it Halkin Bot or like something something funny, you know, not Halkin or something like that. Uh, I highly recommend that. You haven't? You've seen it like mine? Okay. You know, like I said, it's not... I wouldn't say it's uh, necessary, but it certainly makes chat a little cleaner. Especially... Um, you know, people not like you, not like you. You're the one typing in chat anyway, but uh, it just kind of makes it clear that you have a bot that is there to respond. Not everyone does that. Not everyone. Not everyone does that. You actually, you're you're probably. I would say I I would say it's six maybe sixty to seventy percent people have a separate bot name, but it's not uncommon to use your own uh, channel. But anyway, that's not. I wouldn't say that's not necessary. I, I wouldn't say it's necessary. I would say that that's totally... Tearing around for a that's long just time. a chat thing. Like, if you feel it'd be cleaner to have a separate this bot. Nice shiny truck had nothing in it. I wonder if you... There you go. Congratulations. 
We did it. We totally did it. Okay. All right. Uh, but it seems like you have a bot. Funny. It seems like it's on a timer, which is good. Uh, you've got commands, which is very good. I assume you have a lot of common commands. Actually, do you have a list of commands on your panels? Yeah, um, let's see. I believe I I believe I saw sound sound commands. Do you have like a, a list of commands? If I were to do like commands in your chat, no. Okay. At the very least, I recommend having a command command, a commands command. That has your list of things that they could do. Okay, so. I know, I was going to say mine totally doesn't have it. <laughs> Admittedly. <laughs> I know, right, Potato? I actually don't have many commands for users. I have a shout-out command. I, but, like, there's a couple random hidden commands that I have for fun. But I don't... Actually, my, my personal stream doesn't have a lot of commands. Um, the only... The only... There's, there's one of the hidden ones. Uh, the main... The main... Uh, <laughs> no, I was going to say... A lot of people, like, especially if you have a command-driven stream. Some people have command-driven streams. Mine's not. <laughs> this is called parenting. Uh, like, like an uptime or things like that. I actually don't have a lot of that. Uh, I really don't. And I think that's totally up to the... That's totally up to the, um, the streamer. I do have basic socials. As shout outs. But again, I don't even list those because those are already on my panels. Yeah, I don't have a lot of those. So uh, if you are a command driven stream, then you should have a list of commands. I saw the sound bites, so that's good. So that's good. I would say, uh, yeah, no, I kind of. I kind of have leaned away from a lot of those because um, I'm more focused. I'm more focused on the actual chat engagement than filling my chat with commands and spam. I don't think there's anything wrong for other people to do that. That's more of a personal choice because I used to potato and Corbob would tell you I used to have a lot of commands on my channel. Oh, there it is. Oh, is so is that just for. Oh, there you go. You may want to change the. Um, permissions to everyone. Oh, did you did you get it set up? Nice. Perfect. Yeah, they're all so I've made a personal choice not to include a lot of special commands. If you have a list of special commands, yes, you should. I see that you reference them in your sound bites. If that's mostly what it is, then you're good. Then you're good to go. If there are other things like uptime or like hug, you know, some people have like a hug command where they can hug each other, or, you know, or a lurk command. You have a lurk command, right? Lurk. So stuff like that. It's nice to have a list. But my channel, as an example, I actually don't use a lot of commands anymore. I've the only ones that exist are the the more obvious ones. You're trying to get people to use sounds during your stream. Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. So that that's mostly what I've got for you. Do you have any questions, Halkin? We'll move on. We'll move on pretty soon. Any any questions or things that you're like, man, I, he said something or there's something that I'm wondering about or anyone else in chat, too. But I, I'm going to open it up to Halkin first. 
do you have anything? Let's see, starting soon screen. Va, um, gaming. I couldn't find alerts. Commands. Consider adding a command list only if you have several, if you have several uh, special commands. I see that you have a sound command list. That's excellent. Am I free to help with some of this? I have questions after I reread. Re yeah, of course. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for. Burnt Toast, what's up, buddy? Am I going to be streaming for a while? I'll be on for about another hour. I'll be on for about another hour. Of course. I couldn't find the alerts, but I'm going to trust that those are all good. Gaming commands. Um, looks good. So overall, I think you have a pretty solid channel, Halkin. Everything is there that should be there, I think. All the fundamentals are there. So it's it's looking really good, man. It's looking really good. Uh, I'm kind of curious. Do you have... Okay, good. So you do have... Actually, I was going to look at this. You have sub badges. Which is awesome. Excellent. Yo, Burnt Toast! Thank you so much for the raid, man. I do appreciate it. Welcome. It's toaster time. Hello, Burnt Toast friendos. And thank you for that raid, friend. Thank you for that, uh, that raid. My name's Amor, and we are currently doing stream reviews. I'm taking a look at some friends' channels and just trying to offer helpful feedback, hopefully. <laughs> uh, so that's good. Um, let me look at your chat. You, you should have some emotes. Good, you have your emotes, which look awesome. Good. I also see... Let's see, what else? You're doing channel points, and that has an icon as well, which is excellent. Looks good. The dab emote's getting replaced, yeah. Very good. Overall, very good. There's some tweaks I would make. There's certainly some things we can do to improve it, but overall, all the fundamentals are there. I would, my biggest feedback for you is try to get a cohesive graphical theme going, which I know you're working on your overlay, which is good. Um, I would also figure out how to tie these panels in with your overlay graphics. You also use honey, okay. How do you sign up for a review? That's really excellent, Burnt Toast. So on my Discord, this is a, here's a common command. On my Discord, on the welcome screen, there's a content creator section. On the welcome screen, if you react with, um, I believe it's a camera emoji, and you react with that, it will open up the content creator section to you, where it's, it's a fresh channel. And this is where you say, hey, Amor, I would love for you to review my channel and then a link. And then I will contact you via either Discord or Twitter and we'll schedule a day. And I'll be doing these at eight and eight o'clock mornings on mornings as I have uh, people signed up. So. Cool. Any additional questions? How can overall this is great. This is great, man. This looks good. This is a solid channel. I don't think that there's any major things. I think there's just room for improvement, but I think we all have room for improvement. The biggest thing I would consider is looking at your gra like your graphics and how they tie together. I would make sure your starting soon is a little shorter. I would consider a separate bot name, but that's optional. 
and I would actually have um if if you really want to get into Twitter there's that's a whole separate subject but I would say consider changing your going live posts at the very least and I think you'll start to see more engagement because my guess is your engagement on your Twitter posts for going live are quite low. And that's because one, they all look the same. And two, you're using a bunch of hashtags. And when people see more than two or three hashtags, they'll keep scrolling. Like when there is more hashtag uh, than text to read, actual text to read in a post, then they will keep scrolling. That's just my recommendation. Overall, this is good. This is really good. This is really good. Further comments or questions from the rest of you who are hanging out? No, thank you, man. Guys, consider checking out Halkin. He is a friend. He also streams Seven Days to Die and some Skyrim. Check him out. He's he's a pretty new streamer. He's been doing this for five months, but he's got a very good, solid foundation. He's got a very solid foundation. Um, check him out. He streams Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at 3.30 p.m. and Saturday at 1. So if if builder games are your jam, check him out. He's a good dude. He'll take his time to talk to you and engage which is one of the the better like the better things the notes that i have uh, about them i highly recommend it highly recommend it 